Monday, and it's time to talk technology with Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, alvareztg.com on the web. And today's topic is Google's $2.1 billion purchase of Fitbit. It's an entry point into the massive employee health benefits market. Good morning, Luis. Good morning, Mark. This is a surprising bit of news from last week when Google announced that they were going to be uh, acquiring Fitbit, mostly because both are public companies. Fitbit's mm-hmm. been out there as a public company for a number of years. They were a pioneer in the uh, industry. If you remember the original original Fitbit, all it really did was just you know track your steps. Right. And uh, they have a, a pretty significant market penetration, something like 28 million users that use their products. So I think what Google is trying to do is they recognize that healthcare is big business and they want to be part of it. And rather than inventing something of their own, they're just going to buy Fitbit and, and uh, get there faster. Sure, because Fitbit already has a user base. So you don't have uh, to spend all that money prospecting for new customers to come and join your app. There's already yep. a lot of people that use Fitbit. They're very happy with it. So they probably won't notice any change in Fitbit since Google is purchasing it. Yeah. And Fitbit also has been working very closely with a number of uh, healthcare insurance companies like Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, and, right. and others to provide low cost or free devices to help people with diabetes, for example, mm-hmm. get healthier, to help people with other health issues to be able to track their health. So this gives Google access to that marketplace. Right. But what does this offer to Fitbit? How does Google's purchase, in your opinion, Opinion, how does Google's purchase of Fitbit make it a better product or could make it a better product? Well, I think what what Fitbit, it's been kind of mired in this uh, in this race for the healthcare market, uh, not really doing much. And now that Apple has really started to take a, a leading role in that market, this makes sense for Fitbit in that they'll now have the uh, you know, massive resources of Google, whether okay. that's uh, you know, money to invest in new products and, and uh, new research or just the ability to use Google's massive marketing uh, muscle to really grow their market share. Probably a lot more focused approach to whatever they're doing, being that Google has some of the best people in the world doing what they're doing. And this is like something they can come into Fitbit and and basically put it on steroids. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, one of the concerns that people expressed was when they heard about this was, you know, what is Google going to do with all that healthcare data that Fitbit has been collecting for years? Oh, wouldn't you Uh, like to know? Yeah. And and (laughs) Google has you know been very proactive about saying we're not going to do anything with it. You know, that's privacy. Uh, you, you control your data. We don't we're not going to use it for, to market. We're not going to use it to uh, violate any sort of privacy uh, settings. But uh, you, you always worry a little bit. Somebody like uh, Google gets access right. to a lot of data that they didn't have previously. In reality, we're not going to do anything with it yet. But just you yeah. wait. It's uh, they'll have access to that data. Uh, they'll have access to the people that, that produce that data. And uh, we're just going to wait and see if, if this is a good thing or a bad thing. All right. time will come. Louis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group. Group, our guest today here on our tech segment. You can reach Lewis at the Alvarez Technology Group, alvareztg.com on the web, at alvareztg is the Twitter handle, and Lewis, the toll-free number for the iTeam. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-784-8326.